All right, time to get into WWF Let's SmackDown go. for Hit November eleventh, nineteen ninety nine. Everybody on the ground. We talk about this a lot, but this is probably one of my favorite SmackDown songs. I don't know why. I think it goes it. with the intro and then into the pyro, into the Ovaltron, the whole fucking setup. Presentation. Is sweet. It does the it does the straight. Yeah. Up. dude. What, when they have the pyro where it does the they have the pyro overhead where it goes around the square and then the pyro leads into the other pyro with the missiles and it's like oh boom. on the stage yeah it's like from the top above the ring to the stage it's fucking sweet oh my gosh they don't do it like this anymore so this is the go home show to survivor series 1999 Three days away, yes. Uh, which notoriously isn't a super great show, but it does have the debut of one Kurt Angle versus Holy Dance. shit. Wow. Okay. We don't watch a lot of shows that don't have Kurt Angle on it, so it's pretty cool that we're watching an era where he's just about to debut in the WWF. I feel like he was a big part of this later era, too. How quickly late did at, that happen? You don't see guys come into the scene and then immediately take over like that. You know, no, like the late Attitude Era, because you, you think of the Attitude Era, Kurt Angle is definitely a part of it, but like, wow. Fuck. So we yeah, have everybody on over. the ground. We have the SmackDown Orb, which I think they end up ditching uh, at some point in the next year or two. But I used to love at the beginning of the show when the Orb would do the stretching. It was, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would go into it. I used to love that. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. So I don't know if it's the Peacock version of this show. Uh, if it's been, you know, this show's been chopped and screwed for the past 20 years <laughs> or whatever <laughs> the case is here. But the mixing on the audio of this show was awful. It I'm, was bad. I, I'm wondering if it's like, you know, when you record a VHS and then you record another VHS over the VHS and then you keep That's what it that. sounded like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was either that or they were piping in a lot of fan stuff. I don't and, know, man. That crowd looked hot. That crowd no, looked yeah, hot, yeah. hot. Um, yeah. They're talking on commentary here. It is so loud in this arena that you just cannot hear anything. You cannot hear them at all. No, I have it no turn, idea It turns into it like a megaphone, too. Like, when you're talking. Yeah, there's some like points. some weird like interference or something, and it happens constantly throughout the show. Where it's this is maybe because I watch it with headphones on. I don't know if you did as well. But I'm wondering if you watch on like a regular TV, if it's not as noticeable, but I don't know. Now I watched it. Uh, I have like a, like a woofer and like two speakers. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so it, it sounded bad. bad. Yeah. Oh, I was like, damn. that's where I was. If you guys saw my uh, Twitter earlier, I posted a picture of John Laronitis and the uh, CM Punk t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was like, man, it must just be my computer or something. So I went to go check another episode. It was fine. I think it was just something on this one, but it oh, was just funny. Um, yeah, it didn't it take away bad. from the show too much. It actually reminded me of WCW quite a bit when we watched those shows and it would cut to a backstage segment. We just could not hear anything and it would just cut back to the original. It's like, you just kind of have to figure out what they're talking There's about. No way that's Peacock. That is WCW being WCW. So we start off here with a D-Generation X Town Hall. Everybody comes out here. Triple H, New Age Outlaws, x Pack. He's Bro, out here. I know you were dying over their fit, dude. All of them in the boot cut jeans. There was so much denim in the ring. It was insane. 1999 <laughs> was a seen, crazy year. I've never, I don't recall Road Dog ever wearing denim jeans, dude. It was crazy. Okay. So it starts off crazy and then it just nosedives into the fucking most insane town hall I think we're ever going to talk about on this show. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, by the way, just so you know, at the top of the hour, they said Arnold Schwarzenegger is here tonight as well. End of he's days. He's here. So there's that. Just he's not. So you would think, you know, Arnold, we're talking. He, Arnold's had a slew of fantastic movies, right? Like he's had, he, give or take, you know, whatever your opinion is on, on Arnold. He is. Uh, he has had some very popular movies. Yeah, yeah. End of Days was not one of them. <laughs> <It's> not. <laughs> and no. that was the movie he was coming to the WWF in 1999 to talk about. But uh, we'll talk about End of Days and Arnold yeah. a little later. Yeah. Um, Degeneration X Town Hall here. We kick it off with everybody in the ring. Like Tony said, they're fucking jeaned out of their mind here. <laughs> Dude, I uh, always think of Road Dog in those like baggy pants. I'm d I don't think of Road Dog ever wearing jeans. I can't no remember. No way. It. And they were all boot cuts. They, these dudes were insane. No, Billy Billy put them in the boots though. Even though they're boot cuts, he put them <laughs> inside the boots. Triple H says Degeneration X is on top of the world. And this past Monday, it wasn't the only thing they were on top of. Now, when he said this. I just assumed that he was just making a general like innuendo, uh, like yeah, an innuendo that D Generation yeah, okay. X usually does. He says, "Why don't you play that footage?" 
I got the footage. Roll wow. that beautiful bean footage, he says. What the hell was this footage, Tony? <laughs> so it shows footage. They open the door in the back room, and this happened on Raw. This happened on Raw. On like they, it wasn't yeah. like a off the off the camera, you know, like check out this behind the scenes. This happened on TV, <laughs> and I, it, this was insane. It shows a backstage footage of the outlaws sexually assaulting what we believe is Stephanie McMahon. Is that yeah. right? D that's what they showed. Okay, so. It, it doesn't shows get them any better pulling. from here. <laughs> a girl is on the ground and they're and she's like yelling for them to stop and they're like pulling her legs and her clothes off. And I'm just like, I and it shows Vince run down and he's like, no, no. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here, man? <laughs> Holy shit. So I assume that they they did this on Raw and they and that they didn't say anything else about it because Triple H spends the next 10 minutes going, it was just a joke. It, we were joking. That wasn't Stephanie McMahon. Yeah. Holy shit. All right. So it, <laughs> it's just a prank, uh, bro. It's just a prank. It's just a prank. And then Billy's like, no, it's not a prank. And he's like, yes, Dude, it is a prank. Bro, they pull out this red dress that apparently was from this sexual it, assault. Sexual assault. And and they said, is that thing all gooey? Triple A says, is that gooey? Is there a stain there on the dress? Is that a stain on the dress? And Road Dog goes, oh, yeah, you know, I tried to bleach it out. And he goes, oh, that stain might just be from the bleach. And Triple H said, Brian, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. So Triple said, H we may need to check that thing for some DNA. Oh, what the hell? This is absurd. I couldn't even believe this. So uh, Triple H says, hey, hey, hey. We're fucking around, guys. This is not Stephanie's dress. This is some skank drama student from Penn State University who got the thrill of her life going up close with Mr. Ass. So they it's like they did it on Monday on Raw and then on SmackDown, they go just a prank, bro. Just a prank. Um, Triple H says Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to be here tonight. And that he's a good actor, but the shit that they did with this drama student <laughs> was some real good acting. Oh, my God. Billy Gunn says, that was not acting because I think I punctured her lung. Billy! <laughs> shut <Dad>. up! <laughs> oh, my God. Triple H said, no, that did not happen. That did not happen. <laughs> Holy fuck. This was like, I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, this is absurd. So fuck. Triple H says. He also says Billy has a tiny cock. So there's that as well. We got a lot of tiny cockage tonight. He on said Smackdown. there's no way you can puncture your lung because your dick is small. <laughs> um, Triple H says at Survivor Series, make no mistakes. He will keep the WWF championship. He will go through Austin, The Rock, or even Vince himself as the referee. Doesn't matter. He will walk out the champion. Triple H says. By the way, Vince, Stephanie could be wearing this little red dress anytime they want. Why do we go back to the dress? <laughs> they show Why? Vince's face from last Raw. He goes, look at this guy's face when he thought that we were sexually assaulting his daughter. Bro, bro before, wait, wait, wait. Before that, as this thing's going on, there's they cut to a girl in the crowd that says Triple H is hot. She's got a sign that says Triple H is hot. She's wearing like a Triple H shirt. As he just sexually assaulted a woman, I want to add. So there's that. Vince, <sighs> Vince is on the Tron. They show Vince's like a recap is on of the Vince's Tron. face. He says, yeah. show his, please, God, show his face when we are sexually assaulting his daughter. And then Triple H <laughs> looks at the monitor and goes, ha, 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 ha. And then... It cuts to a live shot of Vince McMahon's face. And Triple H goes, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good gag, though. I like how it cuts right away. That what was the hell? good. I thought that what was good. Hell? Triple H's response here was good. Triple H was good at selling the uh, ridiculousness of the show mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, Vince, so Vince's music hits. He comes out here, and it's time for him to cut his promo. Uh, Vince says he could come down to the ring right now and fire everyone's ass in that ring on the spot. Uh, which is true. Vince said he could grab 
an equalizer from backstage to <laughs> go to the ring and leave everybody in a bloody mess. What the fuck? <laughs> I get this bitch pull up my Glock. <laughs> Vince is different, man. He's called a gun, and e- only in wrestling is a gun called an equalizer. I could go backstage and grab an equalizer. Oh, Vince says hell? we're not we're, we're not gonna shoot anybody tonight. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> Instead, we're gonna have some fun this uh, Sunday at Survivor Series when I'm the guest referee, and we're also gonna have some fun tonight when there will be an eight man Survivor Series matchup. Uh, it's DX versus Shane McMahon, Test, Kane, and The Rock. The pot for The Rock is astronomical. Oh, hell yeah. Astronomical here. Now, I just want to remind everybody, so there will be a eight-man Survivor Series matchup here tonight on SmackDown. Uh, this is the main draw to Survivor Series at this point every year, by the way, is the Survivor <laughs> the tag, Series the tag match. Yeah. Tag match. Also at this Survivor Series, there is like three fucking Survivor Series eight man matchups. By the way, so yeah, oh, yeah. they were really driving those home at this point. Oof. I don't even really know what Survivor Series is anymore. Um, to be fair, I don't really know what any of this stuff is anymore. But it's just no, uh, it's yeah, funny yeah. looking yeah, they, back on it. They had like a women's one, and then like a mid card men's one, and then like another they had like tag, a dark and like a tag one, one, a tag one, right? Wasn't there like a tag one? Yeah, I, I think it was know. a tag one. Um, Different, different era. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Vince almost walks out, but then he comes back and he says, no, wait a minute. I also forgot to say, there's a guest enforcer in tonight's main event, and his name is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh. What a weird, weird fucking thing to have Vince McMahon happy about having Stone Cold Steve Austin be the enforcer of a match i no matter w- what situation whenever i see vince and austin like i wouldn't really say they're working together but they're no, like yeah you know he's announcing steve austin in a good way is like really right, yeah, crazy yeah. hell yeah um yeah. but wow that austin announcement was electric I, I could feel the building like go crazy when they announced his name oh yeah uh triple h then says vince god damn it man triple h then says vince that's fine, but when you walk back and see Steph smiling, ask yourself, is Steph smiling because Test is... what? Now, do you have this written down? Yes, I did. Okay. Is, it, is she smiling at Test because he's just that rotten in the sack? Why, uh, why would she be smiling then? I, or, okay, I wrote that down, <laughs> and I'm reading it back now. Why would she be smiling? I feel like I missed some words in that. This, oh, by the way, Vince was gone, I think. Vince, Vince already was not left. Up there anymore. Vince left. Uh, he left. Is she smiling at Tess because he's just that rotten because he's just that rotten in the sack, or is she smiling thinking about what we could do, what DX could do to her in the sack? So what was the in the sack thing for? He goes, ask yourself, is Steph smiling because Tess is just that rotten? In the sack, <laughs> or is she smiling because she is thinking of what DX could do to her in the sack? Why do you keep saying that? He said in the sack, and he was like doing the blowjob animation. Yeah, it's like <laughs> up all night in the sack. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, apparently, Tess was also wondering what that meant because he came out. Uh, and rushes the ring four on one. Uh, real <laughs> fucking idiot. Dumbass gets his, gets his fucking nose broken right away. <laughs> so he runs into the ring and they beat the shit out of him in like seconds. Tess didn't even fucking do anything. He walked in the ring. He, <laughs> he walked in four on one against the world champion and the tag champions and X-Pac. And they beat the shit out of him. Dude, it was like five stars in GTA when you're walking around the cops were there. <laughs> it wasn't. Like. Yeah, it, it was like, oh, I got five stars and I'm dead. That's exactly <laughs> what happened here. Dude, Tess rushed the ring and he started bleeding. This, and I instantly thought of you. They started giving him the boots while he's on the ground. I love <laughs> that. Yo, there was another. I, 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 maybe when we go over it on the notes. I think it was yeah, DX. There was, there, there's one later okay. on. Yeah, yeah. That shit popped me so huge. I, for, I love... 
I've always loved when someone gets the boots in wrestling. I don't know why. Whenever it's like a three on one assault and they just because it's like the funniest thing you can do in a beatdown. It's like you're just stomping them out in wrestling. I don't know Fuck. why. It's just <laughs> it's just so crazy. Shitty. It's, yeah, it's, it's just, just a bunch of so shitty stupid. dudes stomping. <laughs> it's not. I it's love so, that stupid not shit. Good. Oh yeah. Also, my we just timeline this real quick. Stephanie and Triple H haven't been a thing. The wedding hasn't happened. Test is still a big deal main eventer at this time. So which is crazy because Tess pretty much nose dives immediately after this. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, because he was like, dude. Talk about it in the main event, but he was the biggest thing in the night. Yeah, really. Say? Actually, he was he was like the the calling point for the main. Yeah. Um, so Tess rushes the ring. Uh, they go four one and beat him up. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they tried to not get this, but X Pac just picked Tess up and gigged him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. It, it, I was like looking at it and like X Pac like pulls test up and goes towards his forehead. <laughs> I don't know if that's right or not, but this is funny. I like to believe so, yeah. Um, yeah, so Tess is bleeding. He gets out of the ring. He's spitting up blood. Uh, and Vince McMahon... Vince McMahon didn't get in the ring to help Tess, by the way. He just kind of sat ringside and waited for him to get his ass beat and then helped him up the ramp. Yeah, because Tess that. rolls out of the ring and then Vince like helps him to the back, I think. And then Triple H says, get to step in. This was a crazy town hall, man. That's just the first 15 minutes of the show, man. No, it's, it's all kinds of fucked up. It's downhill from here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Big Show's father's funeral is coming up next. I want to, I want everybody to just revel in that sentence real quick. And tonight we got Big Show's father's funeral. We're going to show you footage from that tonight. That's By the way, wrestling. Man. We have B-roll from the footage from the funeral. B-roll yeah. footage of this funeral. Like Big Show and his mom get out of a car and like... That Tony, they had a multi-camera setup at the <laughs> Who feels <laughs> B-roll for a funeral? Who has a camera at a funeral? I love professional wrestling, man. I fucking love this shit. We got Big Show's father's funeral coming up. Next, we got a multi-cam setup to show you exactly what went down. It was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Big Show's like, yeah, great. I'm so happy you're showing this, great. Uh, oh, so we go to shit. a pre-tape. Uh, this is a Kurt Angle propaganda video hell yeah how crazy is that man kurt angle has not debuted in the wwf yet he is about to uh and it's funny because i don't believe they came into this angle expecting kurt to be a super over heel i think they legitimately were like kurt angle has his three eyes he is a olympic gold medalist and he can inspire new athletes in the wwf well as you know the three eyes are the biggest heel thing in the world, and <laughs> Kurt becomes the biggest heel ever. Very Dude, quickly. how do they not see right through this? He's sitting in a room of trophies talking about he's better than everybody else in the WWF. Hmm, that's going to come off as a good guy, I'm sure. I loved that they said Kurt Angle is going to be the most celebrated real athlete in WWF real, history. Real. That's Emphasis crazy. on real. Uh, so it shows Vince and the Stooges are waiting for the Terminator in the parking lot. Uh, and I'm thinking to myself as I'm looking at this, oh my God, WWF got a lot of mileage out of the parking lot in every one of these arenas. I feel like every show had a parking lot segment. Yeah, huh? Vince pulling up in a parking lot every week. That, literally. That's yeah. pretty sweet, man. Make use of what you got, I guess. Hell yeah. We have Edge with Christian versus Hardcore Holly with Cousin Crash Holly. Uh, Crash and Hardcore Holly come out here. <laughs> Crash looks at the crowd and points to Hardcore to look at this. And as he does that, he accidentally pushes the scale in the back of Hardcore's head <laughs> that on the ramp. Great. This was I guess I never put two and two together here, but this was Hardcore Holly and Crash Holly were just like the three Stooges. This was just like it, like the the Stooges, the Mean Street and yeah, the Stooges yeah. were the three Stooges, but this was all of this was very three Stooges humor, which no, yeah, yeah. I think works. Perfectly, it's made for wrestling. I actually yeah, think it's made for it because Bob Holly's a big badass tough guy, and then you got Crash, who just whacked him in the head by accident. It's awesome. It works perfectly. You know what's funny is that everyone in the tag division, in the WWF, and I think this was a Vince thing, had to be some sort of estranged family member with each other. I don't yeah. know why that kept happening. Hardcore Holly and Crash Holly had to be cousins. Edge and Christian were brothers. The Dudley boys were brothers. The Hardy boys were brothers. Uh, you know what I mean? Undertaker always, and Kane. They couldn't, all, they couldn't, all the way, yeah. yeah. Undertaker and Kane were brothers. The Mean Street Posse were, were friends uh, growing up. It's like 
no one could just be like we were two wrestlers in a tag team you know what i mean yeah, there was cool. always I think like, we're like buddies aren't they yeah yeah, yeah. i, I would be surprised buddies. if they tried to do something like they were brothers growing over so yeah what the hell oh my gosh you're right that was just i think that was just a it worked. I'll be honest with you. It worked. I guess it's like an easy trope in wrestling. Oh, yeah, they're like related or brothers or friends or childhood friends or whatever, you know. Yeah, maybe that, that's the only way they could get the tag guys to like make sense storyline wise. It was like if they were like, okay, you guys are related. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I guess the easy way out. Uh, so Hardcore Holly gets some heat. That's a nice gun stun, which you don't you don't really see this uh, too often anymore. The um, or the stun gun, I guess is what you want to call it. The one off oh, yeah, the top yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. where you neck them. I haven't seen that too much anymore. That's a good move, man. That's a sweet move. No, I don't um, think so. Yeah. Edge has a Russian leg sweep hope spot. Holly cuts him off with a suplex. It looks nice. Uh, hardcore goes for a flying nothing. I mean, literally just not even close to a <laughs> regular <laughs> move. And gets caught by an up kick by Edge. Uh, Edge hits his comeback, then hits a fisherman suplex for a two, uh, which Edge doing a fisherman suplex is always just insane looking. Yeah. Um, Edge hits a tornado DDT for a two. Uh, Holly then hits a nice fucking drop kick to turn the tables. That dude has such a crazy. Dude, he had drop such kick. a yeah, great drop kick. Uh, Holly goes back up, but Edge ball sacks him on the top rope. Then Edge hits a superplex, but he over rotates and Holly gets his legs back up and small packages Edge out of the superplex. Yeah, uh, I don't know why they were confused on commentary. I clearly saw what they were going for, but. I think it that, was just a 99 thing. They didn't probably didn't see this. They didn't understand much. it, dude. It was a great spot. They like, they're like, oh, it's a double pin, and then Hardcore got his shoulder up. No, that didn't happen at all. It was just he just hooked no, him it was up. just he beat him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, super great finish. I I thought this was a fun match. Um, Holly, I think, was always like an underrated worker. He wasn't going to go out there and like uh, you know he wasn't going to do Jeff Hardy stuff, but he put he could put together a match or two, and and Edge was. God, he could do a hundred thousand things at this point in his career. No, you know, this is like like a perfect TV match where it's not too long, and then they have a great finish, and it just goes over well. Like both guys get over, I think. So I don't know. I just feel like we don't get these kind of TV matches anymore. I don't think. You know, it's funny we talk about it too a lot on these shows. It's like, damn, all these matches like they either don't go anywhere, don't get anything, or it's a DQ. Uh, but this was a really good little match. So good. Yeah, shot. yeah, cool. Uh, Vince and the Stooges are marking out in the parking lot as a limo pulls up. Vince tells the Stooges to stop being marks over Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he is here. And he pulls up, and that's pretty cool to see Arnold here on WWF television. Yeah, they do the big reveal spot, but uh, one of the Stooges is in front of him, so the crowd doesn't pop yet. And then they pan the camera oh, over. Oh, there he is. And there he is. <laughs> and he's got, Vince, congratulations on all your success. It's going to be a hot show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what, the hell you, what the hell are you saying, Arnold? Arnold is... Well, first off, we can't hear shit on this show, man. We can't hear nothing. The audio is so blown on this no, fucking Arnold show. Arnold doesn't know. Like, also, like, you got to have your TV voice, you know? So you got to talk yeah, to so he's just he's talking. Like, oh, congratulations, Vince. Uh, you got <laughs> like, a good Arnold voice. What the hell? This dude just opened the door. They're, like, shaking his hand. Oh, give me a hug. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was uh, pretty solid. I like Arnold a lot, man. I think he is... Uh, He's a hell of a guy, and God, he was actually like super hyped up to be at this show. Um, or he's just a great actor. Which no, is also he was, true. dude. Yeah, he was good. He the role they had him in was great for the show. Uh, Big Show is welcoming all of his family to the funeral out of a limousine here. Um, once again, we are hyping up the Big <laughs> Show's dad's funeral. Also, this is where Big Show and his mom are crying, and I don't know why we'd have B roll of his mom crying, but okay. Yeah, like I said, wrestling's crazy. So, Godfather and D'Lo Brown versus the Dudley Boys. Bro, we go from the funeral to, come on, get on the ho! <laughs> <laughs> it's not it like a commercial break the morning, either. Mom. It's straight into it. It's like funeral, then ho train. Oh, my gosh. What the fuck? The hoes are looking crazy. and I don't know where they were at. I don't know what town they were in here. Um, but shout out to the hoes from this town because is they it cold were, in here? Woo. But bro, one of those one one of the girls had like this black dress on that was y'all gotta look at this. This is Thanks fucking nuts, man. Yeah, man, that was crazy. Shout out. Um, this is like pretty fresh off ECW Dudley Boys, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, because yeah, Bubba's still like in the it. Confederate like flag it, yeah. bandana. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, so he's definitely like they're still kind of riding off the ECW stuff here. Um. And of course, they they still do the "thou shall not fuck with the Dully Boys" thing, which was the ECW thing. So, um, 
I think it was. Uh, Bubba then cuts off a back body drop in the first 30 seconds of the match with a fucking pile driver. Fuck, uh, that pile driver was crazy. I could not believe what I was seeing. Um, it wasn't even like a, it was just like a pile driver. Okay, let's go to the next spot. Pile driver, Bubba then hits the early version of the what's up. Yeah, no, no what's up, just uh, straight cheating head to balls kind of thing. Um, yeah, uh, which was crazy to see. I, I, uh, like the way they, they did it was way different than they usually do it. So Bubba sets him up and then sits down. That's like, that never happens when they yeah, do the yeah, what's yeah. up. Yeah, he they, sits all the way down. Yeah. They, uh, just why you sit down? You don't want to sit down. It just stands up now. But, uh, this was also early on where I don't remember later episode D Lo and, uh, Godfather D Lo dresses like Godfather, but not yet. So I don't know when this. I guess the yeah, we do watch that. an episode, uh, one of the recent retros we did, mm -hmm. um, where D'Lo was dressed as the Godfather. Yeah, so they did Again, go somewhere with the full team. It feels like everything's early on, like Dudley Boy's here, even like Too Cool Later is like an early iteration of that as well. Yeah, like. absolutely. Um, D'Lo hits, <clears throat> hits a sky high for a two, uh, and we immediately cut to the hose ringside chilling. Woo! Uh, Devon goes for the 10 in the corner. Uh, D'Lo hits a sit-out bomb on him to the hot tag to Godfather. You know what's crazy about all this shit that we're seeing here? It's like, this is all very natural, right? Like if someone's giving you the 10 in the corner, um, just picking them up and power bombing them makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah. If someone's going to give you a back body drop, hitting a pile driver makes sense. But it's like, wrestling has its own set of rules, right? Where like you're supposed to crescendo at a certain point, you're supposed to work to a certain yeah, yeah, degree. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you wouldn't, you know, I mean, like if you're training or something, they'd be like, oh, yeah, maybe don't do a pile driver in the first 20 seconds. Or, <laughs> yeah, hey, maybe yeah. don't do a, a big power bomb out of a 10 spot in the corner when we're only two minutes in the match. But it's like there was no rules here. Like there, like the, if there was any aging in WWF at this point, it was very much just like, here's the finish. And you guys figure it out from there. No, yeah, they, they definitely <laughs> go, hey, you have uh, four minutes TV. Go out there, do your shit, get it in. Which is like interesting. It sort of reminds me of, I guess... Uh, how AEW kind of operates nowadays. They have like a pretty, they have like an outlining of aging, but like they just kind of do their own shit. You know, you know what? what I mean? Are they probably aging it as like hoes get on the ring, distract the ref. Uh, that's like the spot. That's like the only thing they have, you know, like that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's about as yeah, far as they so. go, I'm sure. Yeah. Cause uh, this shit's crazy. Um, you know, especially for something that is pretty short. Uh, Godfather goes to hit the hoe train in the corner. Bubba Ray pounces the dude the fuck out of him. Holy oh shit, God. that looked good. It did, man. Godfather got fucking obliterated. He like got sent to the outside of the ring. <laughs> Bubba Ray really hit that shit. Yeah, it's still when Bubba was pretty big too at the time. You know what's crazy too is Bubba's ring gear at this time was just uh, gym shorts and a shirt. Pretty much. <laughs> it worked for you. You got signed in the fed for it, dude. Okay. He's just like wore a gym shorts and a shirt and fucking boots. And it was just like, yeah, this is my wrestling gear. And it's like wrestling operates so fucking differently nowadays, man. I feel like there's so many rules. It's like, okay, yeah, you might be over, but you have to hit X, Y, and Z. But it's like, oh, the Dudley boys were good workers and they were over and now they're here and now they're doing pile drivers and <laughs> was ups on TV and there you go. Yeah. And like, they're one of the most legendary tag teams of all time. So, I mean, sometimes oh, I feel yeah. like just having wrestling be wrestling is yeah, pretty fucking sweet. You know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah, pretty yeah. fucking sweet. Yeah, I get uh, it. D-Lo goes for the pin on Devon, but Tim White is distracted by the hose. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> The Dudleys end up hitting the 3D on D-Lo and uh, end up getting the win here. Uh, we go backstage. The Outlaws and Triple H are chilling. Are, are they backstage? or It looks like a goddamn hotel. I don't know where they're at. They're either backstage or in some hotel. In the this DX is, locker room is what we're supposed to be led to believe is where they're at. Well, I did not hear one singular word come out of their mouth. I could not understand <laughs> anything here. Dude, I put on subtitles <laughs> because so DX is saying that Vince is trying to one-up them and that Stephanie will be locked up so they can't really fuck with her right now. And then X-Pac comes in and I don't know what the fuck X-Pac says. And then he's, they all start laughing and I don't know what he said. And I replayed it like four times 
put my volume all the way up, put subtitles on, still have no fucking idea what Xbox said. And they all started laughing like it was the craziest thing ever. Arnold. The <laughs> That's, That's all, all I heard. <laughs> Arnold's here. Well, <laughs> it doesn't help that Xbox was trying to do some weird impression. Uh, he's doing like bits or something. And I had no Hell idea yeah, what he said. the boys are doing bits backstage or at a hotel. I don't know. What? And I had no idea what he was. I don't know. They were watching on their TV all night. That's all it was. Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> so it shows B-roll footage. They are putting the Big Show's father's casket down at the funeral. Yes, that's right. There is a funeral tonight for the Big Show's father who died of cancer. How uh, how, how do I have written down Big Show funeral hype? As it? <laughs> Big Show's father's funeral is tonight. The hype we hope that, video, the hype, we the hope, you for the funeral. <laughs> we hope that you guys tune in tonight for the funeral. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we get the Spyro 2 Rewind Ripto's, Ripto's Rage Ripto's, What do you know about Ripto's Rage? We, uh, by the way, the Big Show's father died of cancer <laughs> The Spyro 2 Rewind tonight Ripto's Rage <laughs> Wrestling's fucking nuts, man <laughs> Let's get our ad roll right in the mid of, middle of the funeral <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Gotta drop a mid roll. Uh, um, Al Snow and Val Venus, I think. I don't know what was going. Mankind. Someone was out uh, here. The New Age Allies won the tag titles with using the chair. I think it was okay, the rewind. Dude, what the fuck? Spyro Two better got their money back because I don't know <laughs> what happened here. All I saw was the Outlaws won the tag titles. I said, "Who the fuck is out here?" Venus, Mankind, Al Snow. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the, what I took away was the New Age Allies are now the tag team champions. So that's it. That's all I got. Val Venus versus the British Bulldog is up next. Um, okay. Val Venus says, after 17 years, Al Snow, you're only 17 years. That sounds insane. That's, there's no way that's right. Right? <laughs> 17 Man. years in wrestling? Yeah. We, in 99? We, I got to look up when Al Snow started. He could have. How old is Al Snow then in 99? I feel like uh, he was like 28 or something. He, he wasn't that old. Al Snow started in 1982. What the fuck? Al? He, he so had, Al Snow, this was what, 20. He made his debut in May 22nd, 1982. Do you think that, how did, he got that like exactly right. He got that like exactly right. Like no hyperbole, 17 years, like the cage match searcher or something. Venus <laughs> says, after 17 years, Al, your only claim to fame was your dolls jerked off the shelves in some second-rate Kmart? What happened here? Because we talked about it on the show before with Al Snow in the in the. Uh... Yeah, so I I actually pulled up an article from the Chicago Tribune because I was interested in this. So Walmart actually pulled the Al Snow doll for carrying the woman's head because head was uh, apparently offensive or something. Um, Makes so sense. I'll just read this thing. A doll depicting the World Wrestling Federation wrestler carrying a woman's head has been pulled from Walmart shelves following a complaint that makes it light of violence against women is why it got pulled. Uh, the toy model is modeled after Al Snow. The doll comes with a woman's head that says, help me, scrawled backwards on her forehead. <laughs> My sons are six and 11. What kind of message would this toy send to them about brutalizing of women? Did anyone Al ever Snow. tell them that it's not a real head? This is it. Al Snow acts with the mannequin head is as silly as it gets. Loads of fun. <laughs> uh, Val Venus says he is sick of Al Snow treating women like objects. I said, oh, wow. Face turn for Val Venus. And then Val Venus says, because that's my gimmick. <laughs> Val Venus <laughs> treats women like objects. And I said, oh, OK, well, he said <laughs> that. <you> <laughs> and then the women start cheering. <laughs> gets a big pop out of it. <laughs> Different times, man. That's my gimmick. <laughs> uh, well, the, to come to the savior of women, here comes the British Bulldog. In jeans. To, to, okay, first off, yeah. Let's talk about that. The British Bulldog in jeans is a ridiculously crazy look for this guy. This is like an all-timer look, man. How, how great did he look here? He's busting out of those jeans. He's so huge. Holy shit. God, yeah, he is. He's not as big as he was like when he was working with Dynamite Kid and shit. Oh, no, yeah. But he's, like, still... For, compared to most of the guys on the roster, he's pretty fucking big. Um, British Bulldog comes out with the Mean Street Posse, um, and he gets no reaction. Just no, throughout no. this entire... Which, 
is crazy. So Bulldog is pretty popular. Bulldog is probably one of the most popular wrestlers of all time. Yeah. Um, he does his vintage delayed suplex here. No pop at all. Um, and as I'm looking at this, do you think that the audience was just so different than the time that Bulldog was actively wrestling? Yeah, for sure. Because there's no way that this guy gets like, and I'm, and I'm, when we say like no pop, there was like nothing like, like everyone was just like either not paying attention or taking a break or I don't know what was going on here, but yeah, for a show where everyone was hot, Bulldog was the only one on the show, not hot, which is like insane to me. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't know what it was about it. And maybe it was like the jeans and the, the look wasn't right for him at that time or something. I don't know. It was crazy. He looked crazy. You know what? This era was like like uh, character microphone driven. I don't remember a lot of bulldog promos or stuff like that, but maybe he did. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Because you know what, dude? Match gets thrown out uh, WWF Big style. Schmoz. Yeah. <laughs> Selling as, for uh, <laughs> Gangrel, Mark Henry, and Steve <laughs> Blackman come out and fight with the Mean Street Posse in the ring. What a fucking sentence that is, man. Um, just so you guys know, Gangrel, Mark Henry, and Steve Blackman got individual bigger pops than the British Bulldog. Dude, yeah. Fuck, dude. And, and that leads me to believe that this audience, if you ask them any question about 96 WWF, they would have no idea what the hell you're no, talking about. No, 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 no. Like anything before 96, no one in this crowd has ever seen that. Like, this is a very strictly attitude era there to drink beers and have a good time wwf crowd uh obviously none of the people in this arena watch wrestling anymore <laughs> <laughs> i think they probably stopped watching wrestling within the next year if we're you know honest. also wasn't that accessible to like get a hold of old footage either back then so they probably you wouldn't walk even, into like, blockbuster and go to the wwf section yeah i guess but you think that these people kinda, were searching out that was cool people were searching out british bulldog Doubt no it. way. <laughs> yeah, why didn't you guys watch his fucking Japan run with the Dynamite Kid? Holy on, shit. Man. Get a fucking clue, guys. Were you there to watch Stone Cold Steve Austin and Steve Blackman and Gangrel? <laughs> Fuckers, man. Well, the uh, WF also went as far as to tell us all of the hearts suck and they can fuck off and go that away. That is also true. <laughs> so there was that. And DX well, he was the Europeans champion at this time, dude. Yeah, that title meant a lot too as well. It meant a lot to X Pac. To me, <laughs> X Pac was the European. No, D -Lo. D -Lo is always the European champion to me. D Lo and X Pac are the ones that because I always remember X Pac coming out because he'd always have the red attire with the European title. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was thing. sick like, look oh, for him. Man, this is the shit. I love X Pac. I don't give a fuck, man. Dude, he was fucking sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, we go backstage. I just want you guys to know it cuts from this brawl with Gangrel, Mark Henry, Steve Blackman, the Mean Street <laughs> Posse, British Bulldog, and Val Venus. And I, Al Snow might have been out there. I don't know. Bro, it, it, holy shit. It cuts straight from that to backstage. The Rock and Arnold Schwarzenegger meet up backstage and bro out for a second. Just in the middle of this brawl. Just whatever. Hey. Uh, the Rock meets up with Arnold. The Rock says he's seen all of Arnold's films. Uh, and Arnold says that that's great. I can smell what you're cooking. <laughs> uh, Arnold also gets real close to him. He looks around to make sure no one's around. I don't know why. He's making sure to make sure there's no, no cameras recording him or anything, I guess. And he goes up to the rock. He says, you know, there's a lot of jabronis up in Hollywood. <laughs> and rock says, yeah, hasta la vista, baby. He said, okay, all right, I'll leave. <laughs> Walks out of the room. Holy out of shit. What the fuck? Imagine that's like the, the equivalent of you coming up to me and you go like, hey man, you want to go golfing? I right, anyway, see you later. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> also, yeah, also la vista to that, baby. <laughs> no way. You haven't seen any of his movies, you oh, fucking liar. Shit. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's like kindergarten cop. Everyone's seen that movie. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay, all right. Well, I, I guess I'll leave, whatever. See, The Rock at this point wasn't even a Hollywood guy, right? He hadn't even done the Mummy Returns yet. That no was like way, later. no way. Yeah, but you can yeah, see, no fuck, dude. If you only, it's like you look at that now and you're like, damn, that's huge. But like, fuck, man. If you only knew Arnold where the Rock was, was going. I mean, the pop for Arnold later was so British. British Bulldog worked himself <laughs> it, into the ground for 15 years, and Arnold Schwarzenegger showed up. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh just, my god, that's his life, baby. That's his also, thinking life. about the British Bulldog, it probably didn't help that the rock, freaking rock bottom and dog shit or something. So that didn't <laughs> help either. <laughs> Did the rock? I can't remember, but did the rock give the sliding people's elbow to the British Bulldog yeah, he too? Did. <laughs> he did. The British Bulldog's WWF attitude run was the rock giving them the cleanest people's elbow of all time. You know, as far as I know, because I don't really know the timetables, that could have been the first time the British Bulldog showed up. The rock just laid his ass out in the people's elbow. I don't know. I still love you still, baby. <laughs> Fuck, I feel bad Holy for him. Holy shit, man. Oh, Arnold is hyped. Arnold, like, needing the rock. It's just like, this is cool as fuck. This is great, man. Like, crazy shit. It's time to now build up a little bit more to the Big Show's dad's funeral. Big Show's father is dying of cancer. Okay. So the boss man does not care about his dad. The boss man has paid a fake police officer to deliver fake news to the big show that his dad has died. The big show then goes to his locker room. Then Prince Albert and big boss man try to murder the big show with a smoke bomb. (laughs) First, you're you're forgetting where big show destroys boss man and Albert in a car and they, and he puts a giant trash bin on top of it and tries to murder them. How do they live? Tony. Uh, that's uh, always Triple H should have died that one time. <laughs> Triple H on the way. What was that Survivor Series or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. Holy shit! <laughs> and the car tips over and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H, are you here this week? Because he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, the Rock guy hit the ambulance. Came back two weeks later. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. So. Yeah, you're okay. So there's a lot to this. Then uh, no, don't don't gloss over the tear gas thing. The fucking boss yeah. man, Albert, throw tear gas like <laughs> Call of Duty, flashbang out, <laughs> throw it in there while he's in the trainer's office. <laughs> they just nonchalantly they slide the door open and throw a fucking smoke up in there. Dude, how fucked, up is the, how fucked up is the Big Show's career? Like, oh yeah, you're such a big dude, so you can't just be taken on normal ways. They're going to have to throw tear gas in there to take you down or use a tranquilizer dart and shoot you or give you a <laughs> fucking a burrito. poison apple, you big bastard. <laughs> you a, give you a burrito so you run to the bathroom. It's a fucked up career, man. What are you doing to this guy? Oh my God. How good. Dude, it's straight out of like Call of Duty with the tear gas. It was. It was. It was. Breaching clear. (laughs) Yeah. They fucking smoked. Michael Cole was in there too. And he just like runs out and leaves Big Show, I think. They were cool with Michael Cole even. They said, as long as you can get this fucker in there. Oh, shit. So Big Show is smoked out. They have to like (laughs) give him oxygen. He's like seasoned out on the floor. Big Show hit the vape again. (laughs) It's a huge vape. Their room was fucked. (laughs) <laughs> Look, man, WWF in 99 was just guys being dudes. <laughs> You'll never see tear gas in fucking WWF to 2022. No way. <laughs> Do you remember Randy Orton? Do you remember Randy Orton with the gas mask or whatever? The, the, the night vision night goggles? Vision. <laughs> <laughs> what, he kill Ric Flair's? In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the oh, fuck. What are these? These are Spy Kids 3D glasses. <laughs> Those are the Call of Duty ones you get for pre order in the game. <laughs> Brandy Orton killed Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair. Please tell me that says Big Show. It the is! One. It's Big Show! <laughs> Fuck! This guy can't yeah. catch a break. Oh my god! <laughs> Someone's gotta make a compilation. All the times Big Show has just been fucked outside of the ring, man. Oh, Holy he did shit! Get fucking murdered in the dark by Randy Orton. Oh, wow, that is a uh, good career, Oof. man. Fuck, I feel bad. The dude's just seven God. foot tall. You can do anything with this guy. He's got tear gas coming How at him. How good did Big Show look at this time, by the way? He's Ugh. wearing he's wearing trunks. Big Show looks fucking oh, crazy, yeah. man. He's good, He's man. yoked. 
Um, but yeah, anyways, die <laughs> from this smoke bomb. So last Raw, Boss Man read a poem that he wrote for the big show as a sympathy uh, expression. Mm -hmm. He says, we've the deepest regrets and tears that are soaked. I'm sorry to hear that your dad is finally croaked. He said he lived a full life on his own terms. Soon who will be buried and eaten by worms. <laughs> the crowd's a boo. Dude, they, actually, they actually like turn on it, I think. They, he gets like uh, yeah. real heat here. Well, I mean, I would assume that eventually he would have to get heat after he tried to murder the big show with a smoke bomb <laughs> and, and uh, fucking shit on his dad's cancer funeral. <laughs> so I would assume that maybe soon. Well, oh. So to Ugh. continue on, he says, uh, but if I could have a son as stupid as you, I would wish for cancer so I could die too. So Holy be brave shit. and be strong. Get your life on track because the old bastard is dead and he ain't coming back. And that's exactly how I feel about the big show daddy being dead. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the best part, the craziest part is it, and we got some, because it's Jim Ross on Raw. All right. Jim Ross is on Raw. He says, and we got some footage of the big show's daddy's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> the big show daddy. <laughs> that's all you say that shit. That's exactly that's what Big Boss is. That's exactly how I feel with a big show daddy being dead. <laughs> this is so fucked, What are y'all doing? What does Boss Man even get out of this? What happens when he beats the big show? He gets hung at WrestleMania coming up. Big Boss Man is already the hardcore champion. Big show is the nothing champion. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Well, he was all he, Boss Man was fucked up at this time. He fed Al Snow his own dog. He was doing a bunch of crazy shit. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he did have a pretty crazy attitude there. <laughs> Think about the guy from like the '80s to what he is now. He's fucking completely different. Holy shit! One of the most cr craziest workers of all time. <laughs> uh, I loved. I love Attitude Era Boss Man. Dude, hell yeah. They always put in like the 80s Bossman. Put in Attitude Era Bossman. Fuck. I agree. I, I, but the thing, like in 2K, you're talking about. Yeah. yeah the, well, they did have him in the Attitude Era one, I think. But yeah. That was a long he, time ago. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, the, I guess the thing here is that they never put in the time. And, and that's the thing, too, is like with a lot of those legends and stuff in the 2K games, they never put in the time to really make them feel like the wrestlers that they were. Right. No, yeah, yeah, I agree. I here's agree. Macho Man and his little baby green trunks. Okay, dude. Macho Man's one of the <laughs> greatest wrestlers ever. We can at least spend like 10 minutes giving this guy a little bit more of the Macho Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same thing with Boss Man. Boss Man was a part of some stupid fucking crazy angles. He come out with the nightstick going crazy, you know, hit it on the fucking steps. We don't get none of that shit. It's no, like, damn, yeah. man, it's rough. I mean, like, just, I, I, I get it. There's a lot of wrestlers, but maybe take some more time on the ones that need more time. Yeah, I remember, like, uh, old games, you pull out, like, a nightstick, or not a nightstick, but you pull out whatever, and then uh, he'd pull out, like, a signature weapon. That'd be sweet if you pull out the nightstick, and they could do the little spinny thing with it. That'd be oh, sweet. like in No Mercy and shit? Yeah, you pull out your signature thing, you get the nightstick, and they yeah. do the little spinny thing. That'd be awesome. That would be really sweet. Uh, boss man after Raw says, that's exactly how I feel about the Big Show Daddy being dead. And he goes, all right, guys, we have the most fucked up, just most ridiculous. I cannot believe this is disgusting. This footage should not be shown. So anyways, here you guys go. <laughs> <laughs> Big Show is stanced the fuck <laughs> up. I mean, this guy, oh my God, I cannot imagine Dude, oh. I, Big Show in 99 was a menace, and I know it. Big Show is stanced the fuck up in full leather at this funeral. All Slick black. back ponytail, full leather jacket, pants. My man was stanced all the way up, shoulders <laughs> And broad, the glasses, sunglasses too. Little small glasses. <laughs> oh, oh my God, he said, Daddy, I love you. I miss you. And all I hear in the background, daddy, what the fuck is going on? But Big Show's like, who the hell? The boss man pulls up in the blues mobile. How'd you get that thing? This, you know, thinking about it, Tony, the way that they presented this, right? Mm -hmm. Was like, this is the most disgusting, unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my life. 
Then boss man pulls up in the blues mobile with the big ass fucking speakerphone <laughs> on the top of the car. <laughs> Well, you yeah, might as well be, you might as well be driving a clown car. That's exactly what it is. He pulls up in the blues mobile with the big shit on top, and boss man goes, "Hey, Mama Big Show, are you single? You want to go out with a guy like me?" What? <laughs> what? This fuck. This is heinous. The most disgusting footage I've ever seen. It's boss man showing up the blues mobile trying to have sex with Big Show's mom. <laughs> Fuck. Boss man, Big Show gets pissed off, runs at the car, and then Boss Man just runs him over with the police mobile. <laughs> Fuck you, man! He pulls the car right up to the casket too. So Big Show gets out of the, or uh, I'm sorry, they have similar names. <laughs> Boss Man BBM. gets out of the blues mobile, starts tying the casket up to the back of the car with a chain. He says, "Your daddy always wanted to be a drag queen show. I'm gonna make him a drag queen right now." I don't remember this line <laughs> at all. And I also don't have any context for the drag queen line at I all. I don't know. I don't like, I get the pun. Like he's going to drag his dad around, but like. No context his, to this. Was his dad None of the build up. Be... Did, did you, okay. So you didn't see anything in the build up either about his dad no. wanting to be a drag queen. Okay. Was his dad supposed to be want to be a drag queen? I, I tried to look it up. Big Show's I, dad, I don't, drag queen. I don't think Big Boss Man would just say that line without having some sort of plausible context, <laughs> unless he had a, he had a, an agenda <laughs> that he wanted to make sure got across. <laughs> uh, so he says. Daddy, and I don't know why they keep calling Big Show's dad daddy. I don't even feel like Big Show called him daddy, so I don't know why everybody else says. Daddy always wanted to be a drag queen show. I'm going to make him a drag queen right now. Boss Man ties up the casket to the Bluesmobile and fucking just floors it. He floors the car. The <laughs> casket know. just goes boom right off the gimmick. It's dragging along. Everyone, there's like, you can hear like the, the, the extras or I, I don't know if that's, I doubt it was Big Show's real family, but it, if no, it was. it's gotta be you know, actors, yeah. Whoever is it. Oh my God. Wow. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What's happening? The big boss man just showed up in the blues mobile with the big ass giving on the top. <laughs> honk, honk, honk. Big Show's mom, you want to have sex? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What's happening? <laughs> Big Show, full leather out, by the way, just took a bump from a car, jumps on top of the casket <laughs> like he's playing Tony Hawk Underground, like he's going to stop the casket from getting dragged by the car. This, leading into this segment, they had one of those commentator like gimmicks where they're like both uh -huh. looking down and going, the footage tonight is just, um, it's just disgusting. It's the most horrifying footage we've ever seen. Uh, and then it shows Big Show jumping on top of a casket, uh, getting dragged behind the Bluesmobile run by the big, or, uh, the big Boss Man. What the fuck? Dude, not to mention that this is like a real uh, cemetery. It's like a real fucking, there's real graves. Yeah, there's so it's real people dead there. Boss Man just skid marking over here, <laughs> peeling out with the real, your real grave site for your grandma is right there. Oh my God. That's uh, unbelievable. Big Show flies uh, off the casket, takes a bump like the rock taking a stunner or some shit. <laughs> what was what was the payoff for this? Was it Big Show versus It's gotta be Big Show versus Boss Man in Survivor Series, right? Big Show versus Boss Man, Albert, Viscera, and Midian. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way that's Okay, I have to click this. I have Holy to click Holy shit, yeah. Um, choke slams viscera. Big boss man gets out of the ring, and Big Show chases him to the back. I'm guessing they had more here, but that is such a crazy match to even see. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, so main event match. In the main event, Big Show was revealed as the substitute for the hospitalized Steve Austin in the triple threat against Triple H and The Rock. Um. Big Show wins the WWF title. <laughs> after this, is Austin, he, this is an Austin getting hit by a car, right? After the match, Triple H interview, interrupted an interview with Austin. Austin started chasing Triple H in the backstage area until a car drove up and ran down car? Austin at this high car? speed. <laughs> Holy shit. How do we not know that? Wow, that is... Uh, 
I this didn't a, even realize that's how it went down. It's always funny looking back at old stuff because you, you remember individually everything, right? But then there's like the small piece that connects all of that shit together. Holy fuck, dude. So I just want to add this to you. You said the, what is the payoff of this? Big Show wins the main event of Survivor Series and becomes WWE <laughs> champion after he beats a four-on-one handicap match. Big Show beats not only Boss Man, he beats Midian, <laughs> Albert, Viscera, Triple H, and The Rock <laughs> all in one night. <laughs> That's been, the payoff for he's this. He's better than Chris Jericho. Holy shit. Wow. That is... Uh, wow. So, Here's the aftermath for that, by the way. So after Big Show won the WWF Championship at Survivor Series, he's continued his rivalry with the big boss man. The next night on Raw, boss man defeated The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> boss man <laughs> defeated The Rock with help from Prince Albert to become the number one contender for the WWF Championship. At the new December pay-per-view Armageddon, Big Show defeated Boss Man to retain the championship. The main event of Armageddon was Big Show and Boss Man? The main event of Armageddon that year was Triple H versus Mystery Man. But the okay. co-main event was Big Show versus Big Boss Man with Prince Albert for the WWF championship in a three-minute match. <laughs> Dude, they thought that the Boss Man Big Show program was so hot that they needed to put the WWF <laughs> title on the Big Show. Rocket strap And have it. Boss Man beat The Rock. And have Boss Man beat The Rock. Dude, to be fair, Boss Man might have been top heel at the time. Yeah, so they hired, uh, Rikishi was hired by The Rock or Triple H, whoever, to hit Stone Cold. <laughs> and then people. Big Show became champion. So fuck. <laughs> And Big Show Boss Man carried the world title scene for me. What the um, fuck? You have Austin Rock, Triple H, you have Boss Man and Big Show. Holy shit. Uh, so after that, we have Big Boss Man versus Farouk in a hardcore championship match. Uh, the way they had the championships, you know, it's funny I wrote this down. The way they had the championships set up in WWF at the time made a lot of sense. Um, the hardcore championship was like the undercard guys, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but of course, Big Boss Man would later go on in a month to beat The Rock and then go for the WF title. So maybe not <laughs> so much what I wrote down. As but, we mentioned as well, uh, this is pre-24-7 hardcore title stuff. That doesn't happen to like 2000, right? Or 2001 or something like something that. Something like that. Crap when Crash wins it, yeah. Yeah, so this is just a straight up hardcore match title, which I like seems that. weird. I, I, yeah, I, I do like it. It just seems weird in hindsight looking back because I always think of the 24-7 rule. It was easier to get the undercard guys over if you just made it a hardcore match. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. Uh, so Boss Man apologizes for being a bit late. He had a funeral to attend <laughs> earlier <God>. today. <laughs> Is that what he was saying? Earlier today, he was at this funeral, and within within the day, WWF had a multicam set up <laughs> video of this ready to show tonight. In 99? Oh, I don't think so. Maybe. That's crazy. They're chanting asshole, asshole at the boss man. He turns to him and says, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. Um, boss man says Big Show's chances of beating him at Survivor Series are as stiff as his dead dad. Uh, wow. And then Farouk comes out, which I could not fucking believe what was going on. Farouk comes out and says, boss man, I'm going to shove the hardcore title up your ass. <laughs> Dude, at one point, Boston says, see, Big Show? I mean, Big Freak Show? Okay. Fucking hell, shut up. <laughs> asshole, asshole. <laughs> Dude, Farouk has a theme song I don't remember at all. I don't know what this, this song was. This was uh, pre-APA. They were still the, the Hell's Henchmen at oh, okay. this point. Um, but I also just want to reiterate, the APA is one of the best gimmicks ever. Hell yeah, they drink beer, they beat the fuck out of you. That's and they, so cool. And they're just get, fucking smoking stogies out in the back, drinking dude, some beers. Dude, you hang out, play cards, and people pay you to beat up other wrestlers? That's awesome. Sounds like a fucking good night to me. Uh, Farouk rips the padding off the barricade and throws him into it. Um, I, I, you know what? That's that. Just real quick, sidebar. You rip the padding off the barricade, and now everything, every time someone gets thrown into the barricade now, it just looks like they're pussy. Because like... Yeah. 
so it like kills the spot a little bit not to mention that they've broken that thing a million times by now at oh nowadays day. they break nowadays. it every show. yeah it's broken all the time so this spot they're like oh that's so you know it just makes that spot seem like nothing every Braun Strowman match for four years someone <laughs> broke the barricade yeah I'm pretty sure Roman Reigns is the same way that barricade gets broken every time yeah yeah uh, Farouk then what's the best way to put this Farouk grabs a chair smacks it on the announce table and then jumps off the announce table and attacks the boss man with the chair. Dude, he fucking destroys his face. I don't know what he does here, but he slips on like the little part <laughs> that goes on top of the, the announce table. And then he falls face, the chair right into his face. I don't even know. Boss man was done. Farouk then hits him with a bunch of stair shots. Stair shot. Let me make this sure you guys did that. And then boss man pushes him backwards. And he lands on the chair that he hit Big Boss Man with earlier, <laughs> head first on this chair on the ground. Fuck. Fuck. Ah. Uh, when Boss Man pushes the stairs back, uh, it just fucks Farouk up. And it happens again here in a minute. Boss yeah. Man then tries to attack Farouk with a bunch of bundled up wires. I don't know what is going through this guy's head right here. <laughs> um, anyways, Farouk says no. Farouk then hangs the Boss Man with the cables. Why is this guy always getting hanged? <laughs> I feel a, like he did it. Got I feel like he's like, this is my spot. <laughs> uh, Prince Albert is now out here uh, in Mace's Farouk, <laughs> which is like Prince Albert is 300. Like this guy's a fucking freak of nature. And he makes a little Farouk. pocket mace around. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Uh, and then boss man uses the stairs on Farouk. And on the last hit here, drops it. And I swear to God, the camera shot made it look like he just beheaded Farouk. I thought he killed him. Yeah, it, dude. it was I nasty, was like, dude. crazy. It's sort of on stairs like so fucking crazy. I don't even Nonchalantly know. Nonchalantly just dropping the chairs on each other or the stairs on each other. I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, boss man then wins. Then Bradshaw comes down out of frame and hits Albert in the head with his <laughs> Dude, he fucking brains him as hard as he can. Bradshaw sends that chair and he barely even see it on camera. You had to go back and watch it again because they barely, it, he was like right out of frame. Oh, nasty. Bradshaw, there, Bradshaw has never not sent it. <laughs> he has never not, dude. It is always sent, Bradshaw style. That guy's fucked, man. So backstage... Oh, China great. with not the cast. This. Not this. <laughs> Interviewed no, not this. with Kevin Kelly. China is the Intercontinental Champion. And uh, Kevin Kelly, of course, asked about her upcoming match with Jericho at Survivor Series for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, they're mm -hmm. kind of basically running back the Jeff Jarrett angle with China, if you remember that. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. China says that Jericho is envious of her. And the cat says, like, penis envy? And he goes, Jericho has a small penis. And then China says, no, like vagina envy. And Kevin Kelly goes, vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I could not, I can only, I know that they did this segment like four fucking times. Because yeah, Kevin yeah. Kelly was like, no way I'm saying that. Say vagina, say vagina, Kevin. Kevin Kelly goes, v v vag vagina. <laughs> Cat says no, vagina. <laughs> Holy fuck! What is going on, man? Dude, not only is they, they say vagina, but they run with vagina. And they even make merch out of it. You see the vagina shirt. V a china with vagina. a y that looks like a vagina. A, a, a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> no vagina. <laughs> okay. I love how they thought there's no way anyone will understand vagina unless we feed them that it's supposed to be vagina. God fucking damn it. Vagina. The vagina shirt. <laughs> vagina shirt has, like Tony said, it says vagina on the front with a vagina in it. It's supposed to imply a vagina. And then on, what does it say on the back, Tony? On the back, it says, enter at your own risk. And the Y is really big, like a vagina. V vagina. <laughs> <laughs> this almost takes the cake in, like uh, with the HLA shirt. It's almost as bad. Uh, China says at Survivor Series, she is going to give Jericho an equal opportunity ass kicking. Uh, it cuts to commercial. Everything's fine. Everything's good. We're okay. We're all good. 
It comes back from commercial, and apparently uh, the cameras were still rolling. Jericho fucking beals her from behind, attacks her, kicks the shit out of her. This was uh, like a glass bottle or some shit. Yeah, fucking hit her, grabbed a hair dryer, started hitting her with a hair dryer, throws tampons on her. Uh, China's busted open. I mean, it's, you know, it's she's busted open. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's bleeding, I guess. Uh, and EMT is helping her. And I'm pretty sure that's B.B. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara? <laughs> I think that's Barbara. <laughs> I could not believe what I was looking at. I was like, uh, I, I, I can't remember when they introduced this character, but I'm pretty sure that was Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Bush, yeah. <laughs> B.B. Uh, B.B. Good old B.B. the EMT. Uh, so we have a Chris Jericho town hall because apparently him just attacking China and then just calling it a good day going into Survivor Series just wasn't enough. We had yeah, to why really... did that why just end it there and move on? But okay. So Jericho says China is an inspiration to wi- to women, children, and idiots across the nation. Jericho says the joke stops right here, right now, because the IC title is coming home with him at Survivor Series. And if she doesn't hand over the belt, he will brutally and viciously end her career. <laughs> uh, Jericho says he is a man and therefore he is better than you, smarter than you, and much sexier than you. And everybody knows it. And you know uh, it. Jericho says, don't come to wrestle at Survivor Series. Come to bow down and kiss the feet of the savior of the WWF. Uh, yeah, could have just ended it with the bleeding China and then going into the show, but yeah, this is uh, a, uh once you said Jeff Jarrett, definitely Jeff Jarrett vibes here. The whole yes, thing, absolutely. Tess is getting checked up on backstage. They said you can't wrestle tonight, uh, but Shane, Kane, and The Rock will. Uh, obviously, you know the good old WWF trope. He will be there tonight, of course. Well, The Rock says, um, whoa, 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 uh, WWF The Music Volume 4 only available at Circuit City. <laughs> so I guess that's just Circuit City does something in the foot. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Uh, and Western Union. We get Jeff Hardy versus Grandmaster Sex A. Uh, Matt's out here. Scotty's out here. Terry's out here. Um, this match was fucked. Um, Jeff baseball slides Grandmaster Sex A on the outside and then does a flipping senton plancha over the ropes to the floor it's literally a swanton bomb to the outside i don't think i've ever seen him do before it's absurd i'm sure he stopped doing it because it's absurd <laughs> it's fucking crazy at this point um, they're still calling senton bomb too right they weren't calling yeah, swanton they yet. weren't calling it swanton yet michael says that senton caught christopher and lawler says caught who <laughs> <laughs> they were not calling him christopher they're not calling him brian christopher at the time he was grandmaster sexy um, Sexay hits a Northern Lights for a two. Um, and it's funny because Jerry Lawler actually likes his son at this point. Um, yes. Later on, he fucking despises Grandmaster Sexay. He can't fucking stand it. It's him. also weird to see these guys as uh, like heels at the point because they became like the biggest baby faces with Rikishi. Sure. Yeah. But now they're absolutely. heels. They're full out heels here. It's weird because they're, they both act heelish. Like Grandmaster Sexay is playing to the crowd. Jeff isn't. Um, but he's getting pops because his moves are so crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Sexay hits a Northern Lights for a two. Uh, Sexay hits a missile drop kick out of the corner of the back of the head for a two. Uh, Jeff low blows Sexay and hits an avalanche Frankensteiner for a two. That's what I'm saying. Jeff was definitely healing it up here, but his moves are just so cool at the time. It's just like, man. Dude, how can you make... He has... They have Terry. They just won that ladder match. Like, they, they can't be heels. Come on, dude. There's the... No uh, yeah, I was listening to My World, and they were talking about, uh, I think it was Genesis 2011. I think that was around the time Jeff Hardy was heel. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was like, man, you can't turn that guy heel. It just never, it never works. Because, like, he's one of the few guys in, in wrestling history where, like, everybody fucks with Jeff Hardy. No, yeah, for sure, man. For sure. It's cool looking back on it. It's cool looking at him with the the cigarette and, like, you know, coming out with the hair and everything. Yeah. 
uh, I, that that run was cut short because I think he was he would uh, he had charges at that time, so they had to fucking cut it short. And I think Ken Anderson became the champion. Um, but yeah, I was looking back on it. This is around the time they did the they're here. You know, remember that? They're no, here. they're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, so they wanted to get made. Of, this is a sidebar. Just everybody, real quick. 2011 <laughs> or 2010 TNA. They were doing the they're here thing. Um, Jeff was heel. They were going to bring back the main event mafia, but everyone in the main event mafia signed with WWE at like the same time. Wow. And uh, the only guy they had in the main event, because they were going to do it. They had, they had Scott Steiner come out in the main event mafia gear and they were about to do the main event mafia. But Kevin and Booker ended up signing back uh, with the WWE. Kevin Nash came out as Diesel with the slick back black oh, hair. Oh, right. Yeah. I forgot about the yeah, Royal Rumble or whatever. Yeah. And uh, Booker came back. Same time, Royal Rumble, I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay, well, it's actually not. It's just Team Jared. <laughs> it's just Jared and them. Um, I think Abyss. Was Abyss in that? I can't remember. Yeah, he had um, the dare here sign for yeah, sure. Weird times. Uh, anyways, that's a little TNA sidebar for you guys. Holy um, shit. Anyways, Jeff Low Blows, Sex A hits an avalanche, Frankensteiner. Uh, I'm looking over at Scotty. Man, the bucket hat with the hair is just iconic. That's so cool, man. <laughs> that's the shit right there. <laughs> Jeff hits a cross body. The ref is distracted. A lot of shit goes down at this point. I don't really know what's yeah. going on here. There's refs um, just staring at Terry the entire for like 10 I minutes. Oh, will blame him. Scotty comes in, goes to hit an elbow on Jeff. He moves out of the way and he ends up hitting Grandmaster Sexay. Uh, the Hardys try to work together, but Sexay works out of it and hits the skull crushing finale. <laughs> for the the, the um, stroke. <laughs> no way it was not the stroke. <laughs> no, he did the skull crushing finale thing where he sweeps the leg. Yeah, he wishes it was a stroke. It's funny because uh, Grandmaster ends up working in TNA in a few years. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Brian Christopher again, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, call, who? <laughs> who the hell's that? <laughs> uh, Arnold meets with Stone Cold Steve Austin backstage, um, which is just fucking insane to see. Um, Arnold said he came to see Steve open up a can of whoop ass. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold said, hell yeah. <laughs> That's what we do right here, son. Uh, pretty cool, man. I, oh, uh, Austin I'm says, a- Austin, you know what? Uh, you got to open up a can of whoop ass on Satan and end of days. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold said, damn right. That's that's what's up, man. Arnold's the shit. I love Arnold, man. That's like one of my, like, that's one of my dudes, man. Big, when I was fucking getting into like lifting and shit. Arnold yeah. was like the shit. I fucking love the Terminator movies. I fucking can't get enough of that Dude, shit. It's Jingle so all cool the way. That he man, was just like hanging movie. out with. He's just hanging out with Austin back there, fucking chilling. That's awesome, man. That is cool. Like this was the perfect integration of somebody that was like actually over as a celebrity, if that makes sense. Like a lot of the times, the guest superstar or the guest guys that come on WWE are just like they're. WWF is like not popular at all, or WWE's yeah, not really yeah, yeah, yeah. popping anymore. So like they just get whoever they can get on the show, like. But they got fucking Arnold in like his peak, like he was like really popular at this point. So yeah, fucking see Arnold the, looked great by the way. And God, a little bit the crowd response is crazy too. Just like uh, when he comes out later. Yo, it's absurd. It's fucking absurd, man. Uh, yeah, we get to the Terminator Town Hall up next, and the pop for for Arnold here is just. Holy shit, man. It's uh this place goes crazy. Like this guy is such a star at this point. It's it's insane. Um he's out here in his fucking suit. He's fucking he looks good, man. It's just what a beast. Also, you for, you for, don't forget about the Baltimore Ravens are also here as well. That was pretty the cool. The Baltimore Ravens are here uh with their kid athlete. <laughs> he must have been playing cornerback. <laughs> I guess that's why the Ravens were eight and eight in nineteen ninety nine. Little um, kid sitting over there with the Buffalo Ravens. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I think they dropped him and drafted McAllister next, so they were probably uh, you know, a better year on the next year. But uh, maybe don't draft fuck. kids next time. That was a lesson learned for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Terminator Town Hall. Arnold Schwarzenegger is here. Uh, he is here to promote his movie End of Days. Arnold, I've never seen a guest celebrity on WWF more excited. Than Arnold, dude, he's here. like cheesing. He just loves being there. It's like you could tell that he's having a good time being there. The crowd loves Vince him. Vince was cheesy. I've never seen Vince smile like this. Dude, he was like, "This is so world, cool." World Bodybuilder Federation or whatever he did back in the day. Fucking loved Arnold, man. I guarantee. You, I guarantee you, it was a dream come true for him meeting Arnold. I bet. I bet uh, so. 
And then Vince says, you ain't seen nothing yet. Satan has met his match. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my like God. End of days. <laughs> then Arnold comes down. DX. <laughs> 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 Arnold. <laughs> uh, Arnold then says, I'm here to pump you up. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's a fucking, he's a natural. This guy he's a fucking it. natural, man. Yeah. Uh. I am here to pump you up. And Vince is like, it cuts over to Vince and he is cheesing. He's like, yeah, hell yeah. Say that again. Vince That's doesn't awesome. care. Well, Arnold could have said anything. Vince would just die. He doesn't care. He loves it. Well, Arnold, Arnold, I don't think anyone's ever said anything like this when they got something like this. Arnold said, this is the greatest honor I've ever <laughs> achieved receiving this belt. I am so happy to be here in front of the 500 million people seeing this right now. It cuts over to Vince. He's like, yeah, yeah, 500 million. <laughs> Dude, Arnold's just going, this is extraordinary. You're a champion. You've built an empire, Vince. I love the WWF. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Vince is like double thumbs up, like Borat. Yeah, keep it going. 500 million. <laughs> Hold the title up. Oh, you Vince, like, hold the title up. And he holds the title up. And then they come backstage, which is the best fucking line of all time. So I'll let you deliver it when they, uh, when Triple H says it. <laughs> Do you remember this? Line? Oh, yeah. It, cut, it cuts backstage. And DI's like, and Triple H over on the side goes, Man, who the hell does Schwarzenegger ever beat? <laughs> I cannot believe this fucker said that. What a little That's asshole, awesome. man. Who did he ever uh, beat? That's the fucking greatest. <laughs> I'm here to pump you up. Yeah! <laughs> this crowd was like ready for it, too. What a sweet fucking segment. This it's funny, so we cool. watched this for the Big Show funeral part, but this town hall was so good, man. It was so this good. This was the selling point for people watching on TV was this. They were building this up as like a it's big It's funny, deal. isn't it? Like, this was the selling point, not the Big Show funeral. It was the Terminator town hall. That was the big that was the but which one lasts longer in 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 longevity is the funeral man which is crazy yeah absolutely um arnold grabs the belt holds it upside down and vince just doesn't even care he's like yeah fuck that looks good on you brother (laughs) (laughs) arnold's just sitting there this is the belt this is my favorite belt i have the belt you know vince is like god damn it (laughs) i'm so honored to have this belt for one of my greatest movies of achievements of all time end of days (laughs) shut the fuck up you don't care about that movie arnold is He's so good at hyping shit up, man. Arnold's a better wrestler than like almost every wrestler nowadays, man. Like he's the shit. Like if someone came out and like his gimmick was just this, where I'm here to pump you up and we, he's the greatest honor. (laughs) I would, they would be over, man. Dude, they had to show Uh, him in the suit too, because you know, he'd be jacked bigger than like half the roster. So they had to put him in the suit. Yeah. Uh, He would (laughs) be fucking crazy. Um, end of days, uh, Arnold's been, like I said, he's, uh, he's been in a lot of good movies. Uh, the Terminator joints are always uh-huh. solid movies. Um, Jingle All the Way, of course, is always a crowd. Classic, classic, yeah. Um, end of Days <laughs> <laughs> is sitting at a solid 11% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, oh, wow. Which, you know, he got, it's funny that he got the WWF championship for this. And uh, that movie ended up not being received super well. Um, the critics consensus on end of days is an overblown thriller with formulaic action scenes and poor acting. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, end of days here. Um, it grows $66.9 million. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much it costs. I assume it did not cost $66 million, but then again, I don't know shit about movies and it could have cost way more than that. Um, wow. Okay, here's what it says here on Wikipedia. I'm not sure if this is true or not. Um, but it says the budget for the movie was $100 million, uh, and the box office was $212 million. So uh, as far as that is concerned, uh, that is a success. Arnold's Made name money, in this yeah. movie was Jericho. <laughs> 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 Which is even crazier. What um, the fuck? Yeah, and uh, it got three Razzie Awards, but, or it was nominated for three Razzie Awards, which are like the worst awards of all time. Oh great! Uh, worst actor, worst supporting well, actor, were and worst daddies. director. <laughs> True. Uh, let's let's read some of the reviews here. Um, Arnie's not taking any chances this time, and the result is the most questionably repulsive big budget film in recent memory. Wow. Um, tired dud of an over the top violent action movie. I feel like I need to watch this now. I don't remember. I think so too. Yeah. In a performance that is among his worst, Arnold seems to have trouble with his lines and doesn't get to make his trademark wise cracks. 
but who gives a fuck because I am here to pump you up. <laughs> That's all that matters, baby. You know what's awesome about Arnold is uh, he actually earned his multi-million dollars before he even got into acting. He actually got it through real estate. So he was already like a millionaire before he got into acting. So he could just choose whatever movie he wanted to do, which is fucking sweet. So he didn't have what to like life. do- He's the he greatest do... bodybuilder of all time. Dude, this is fucking sweet. Like I know people see him mm -hmm. like, you know, see his body and everything. That is the greatest body of all time. Yeah. It just is. I mean, symmetrically uh, insane, you know, genetically insane. <laughs> yeah. uh, Arnold's body was one of a kind. And uh, I cannot imagine a world where he didn't, if he didn't bodybuild, we would have been robbed. I think about that all the time, actually. Um, you know, because like, you know, people either lift or they don't. And it's like, if you don't lift, who knows? You could genetically be the greatest. <laughs> you could have the greatest body of all time. But if you don't lift, you'll never know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and Arnold genetically had the greatest body ever. So, yeah. Greatest body ever. Worked in one of the biggest franchises ever with uh, the Terminator movies. Uh, WWF champion with the blue strap. Um, <laughs> what else can you really ask for here? Uh, and Triple H couldn't even bury him. He said, who the hell is Schwarzenegger ever beat? Man, shut the hell up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I made more off end of days than you made in your entire career. <laughs> Fuck. I'm here to pump you up. <laughs> yeah, Fuck. hell yeah. Arnold style. That's my fucking boy. Arnold style. <laughs> <laughs> it, took, it took Arnold 16 minutes to be, become the WWF champion for Triple H's whole career. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, DX is waiting by a door backstage. <laughs> so the Terminator does the town hall. Triple H is fucking pissed off. And they get DX and they go wait by a door and they wait for Arnold to come backstage. Why don't they just write by Gorilla? What the fuck's wrong with these guys? Are they the dumbest I, people ever? Oh, they weren't in a... They didn't have pipe and drape anywhere near him. That's the problem. That's they, the problem. See, that he would have magically appeared, but sadly they didn't. Uh, DX is waiting by a door and a guy comes through and they <laughs> randomly jump this guy out. They get, they go on commentary. Looks nothing like Arnold, by the way. They say on commentary. Yeah, they say on commentary. I, I, who do they think that guy was? They get, they start beating this guy up. They're, they're stomping him out. They're stomping him out. They're stomping him out. And they stop midway through and they go, who the hell is this? And then they stomp him out and they stomp him <laughs> they out. They keep putting the boots to him. It's awesome. Holy shit. <laughs> that was peak uh, stomp out that is awesome <laughs> i love that stupid ass shit man they don't give a shit that it's not Arnold. They just want to no stomp way they already beat him up might as well keep beating him up you you got, hey, out for no reason you got the charge already you might as well get the charge yeah. you know what i mean yeah <laughs> it is what it is on that ivory versus somebody um ivory comes out and uh she is Ivory is sexy as hell here. Oh my God, bro. Bro, she still looks good to, to this day, man. I know, which is crazy. Like she is aged so gracefully. She looks fucking wonderful. Um, Cole says at Survivor Series. And, oh my God, Tony, this is, <laughs> this is absurd. Cole says at Survivor Series, it will be Ivory, Luna, Jackie, and Terry versus Moolah, Mae Young, Tori, and Deborah in a one fall <laughs> sudden death match. What the hell is going on at this Survivor Series, man? An eight woman <laughs> tag team one fall sudden death match. Can can I can I just have you guess how long that match lasts? Four thirteen. One fifty two. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I gave it too much. That's crazy, man. I bet with entrances is about 4.13. Yeah, okay, yeah. Ivory wants a title fight tonight and she calls out Tori. Um she comes out, and as she's coming down the ramp here, Ivory, I, I, I don't know why she said this, man. Ivory, as Tori's going down, says, she's into smoked sausage. <laughs> you get it? You get it? Oh, bro. You get it? <laughs> no, yeah. Hey, you get it? Because sure. Kane, Kane has a smoked sausage. Yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> Kane's true. dick is burned. Because <laughs> he was in a fire. <laughs> By the way, big face Ivory also. <laughs> she likes skate shitty little burn dick. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> some of this <laughs> shit is just the shit like uh, the attitude there is just fucking they're just shit on shit on shit they stop they, we just got off DX stop with some random dude and then put the boots to him and then I read <laughs> after Arnold does his shit like the wrestling is not you're right dude sausage. every time you say this shit wrestling died 20 years ago man you fucking right you're damn right it did you, can, you cannot <laughs> have this shit happen and then expect me 20 years later to watch the bullshit that's put out nowadays this is just not the same any thing, company bro. anywhere ever is, no one's doing anything uh, like this no anywhere. it's not there's no way anyone that uh, was into this got out of this the <laughs> second it changed there's this was created yeah, for a very that's specific like a genius audience line though this smoke sausage came she's in a smoke sausage burn dick oh dude she's not tori's already out here she can't respond to this shit she just quickly quips with the mic she's in a smoke sausage <laughs> <laughs> tori comes down i don't know what the fuck is going on i don't this is a title match tony she said she wants a title match. This is a fucking world's women's title match. Uh, Deborah comes down the ramp and she got the biggest pop of the night. She beat Stone Cold's pop. Deborah is <laughs> yeah, more over yeah. than Stone Cold. She is actually. <laughs> this is pop of the night. Holy shit. This is absurd. Uh, Luna and Jackie are here too. Uh, like Mula, immediately right after Deborah, just following yeah, they, her right out. Uh, Mulan May are here. Distract <laughs> Ivory. They for some reason didn't want to show Mulan May because they were just wanted to show Deborah. They just wanted to. Show we want Deborah. puppies. We want puppies. We want puppies. Chance. The crowd is just wants the puppies so bad. Um, the uh, reminder: there's a match going on. Anyways, Terry Reynolds is here. Um, Ivory goes to the outside, bumps May Young, takes a hit from Moolah. I don't know what the fuck is going on at this point. Everyone jumps in the ring and starts fighting. They're fighting. The match is thrown out. The crowd is chanting, we want puppies. <laughs> I guarantee this was the highest rated segment of the night. <laughs> I know all I have is breaks down. We want puppies chant. That's literally all that it was. Holy oh. fucking shit. If you time capsule the WWF, this would be the time capsule. Even from the worst and the best and like the middle ground. This is this was the WWF. This whole show was the WWF. Yeah, for real. Um, which is crazy because we watch a lot of shows and it's like sometimes it's not. And it's like this is the good, the bad, and the ugly of the WWF. All, <laughs> all of it show. wrapped into one. Yeah, yeah, all at one time. <laughs> DX is backstage still looking to jump Arnold but can't find him. Uh, Triple H opens up a door and he gets <laughs> hand comes out and goozles him. This and then he was, him in the room. He pulls him in the room like a video game. This was so fucking cool. This was like the coolest backstage fucking thing I've ever seen. They start fighting in the fucking hallway. The the outlaws and Shane and the Rock and Kane and fucking Triple H and X Pac. Everybody's fucking fighting. Um, how cool was that? That was such a cool moment. That was fucking sweet. Kane's arm just pops out. Holy shit, let's go. We get the JVC Kaboom Box Boom of the Week, which is The Rock beating X-Pac. DX stomps The Rock out. <laughs> and then Triple H hits a pedigree on him. Fuck you, man. DX <laughs> love you, taking the boots of people. Oh, that's the boots are the best. But we got to start. DPW, keep re put a reminder on our notes. More stomp outs. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Uh, Arnold is on commentary now with, I, I couldn't believe this, man. I really couldn't believe this. Arnold is now on commentary with Lawler and Cole. Uh, they gave him a live microphone, just um, a microphone, not a headset, just a mic. Arnold is pretty good at color commentary. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, he's, he's still Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's still got the accent and the way he talks and everything. Um, but I'll be goddamned if he wasn't trying to put everybody over. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. We get the Survivor Series match before Survivor Series, which is funny enough. This match might actually be more stacked than the actual Survivor Series match. It's any of the Survivor Series matches themselves. Um, it's The Rock, Kane, and Shane McMahon. Uh, Test is not coming out for this match. Versus Triple H, Road Dog, Billy Gunn, and X-Pac. Wow. Pretty fucking stacked Survivor yeah. Series style match. Um, Arnold calls Kane Satan himself. He says, this guy is amazing. He's like the things I battled in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's reason x-pac and kane immediately fight out of the arena like it had to be like the first 30 seconds right yeah it uh, um it already starts out as like a handicap match because test nose is still broken and he can't be out here so it's already yeah. a handicap match then kane and x-pac battle to the back like right away i believe and then they're out yeah. of, then they just say on commentary they got double counted out so double count out what the fuck um, X-Pac was lighting Kane up with some chops though, man. That was really sweet. Yeah, yeah. Um, Shane takes a 
fucking ton of heat here, man. Uh, Triple H knees him. Billy gives him the jackhammer. Shake, rattle, and roll from Road Dog here. Road Dog sets him up. Set, <laughs> so Road Dog doggy style pump handle Shane. The worst part about this dude is like he gets the doggies to he humps Shane and then doesn't even do the move to him. <laughs> so Shane just got humped. <laughs> dude, he fucks him as Arnold's commentating. This is the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. So doggies, they try to explain it to Arnold too. That's the doggy style pump handle. That's, look at him. He's doggies. He's road dog because he's road dog. <laughs> oh, no, okay, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, uh, he does the doggy style pump handle. The Rock obliterates him with a clothesline. Um, and Shane does not take the pump handle. Uh, Billy comes in, hits a famous run, Shane, and he's eliminated. Uh, so now it is three on one as Tess is not out here. Um but wait a minute, Test is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did not. They did not wait a second on that. Test no, is here. Yeah. Huge pop for Test. They were hell super yeah, fucking yeah, excited yeah. to see this guy. Test and Rock clean house, uh, but Test tries to go off the ropes with a big boot and takes a chair to the back from Billy Gunn. Um, as a result, Billy Gunn gets disqualified <laughs> because there's a special enforcer, Steve Austin. He tells the referee, and the referee doesn't get out of here. <laughs> and as Billy Gunn gets DQ'd and walks out, Steve Austin gets in the middle fingers as he's drinking a beer ringside, <laughs> uh, which that's Austin's career in general. Uh, so yeah. shout out to Steve Austin. I love that guy. Um, the Rock gets a rock bottom on Road Dog and eliminates him. Uh, Triple H bumps Earl Hebner over the ropes, <laughs> which was fucking gnarly. Austin tries to hit Triple H with a steel chair on the outside, but he ends up moving out of the way and Austin hits the rock instead, mm. uh, which was, <laughs> that's like every time I feel like Austin tries to hit anybody with a the chair, they move out of the way. Yeah. Um, Arnold then gets up uh, off commentary as he sees this and slides a chair to Stone Cold Steve Austin, which was the crowd pop was huge for this. Hell Arnold yeah. gets up, slides a chair to Steve Austin. Austin hits Triple H with a chair. Test pins Triple H. Austin counts to three. Uh, the booking here was chef's kiss, man. Um, Huge pop as he gets the chair. Arnold just explains, well, I got to give the chair. They were using chairs all day. They hit him in the back. He'd be up in the head. I had to use the chair. Arnold explained it too. What the fuck? <laughs> Triple H goes to punch Arnold Schwarzenegger at commentary after the match. Arnold gives him the meanest fucking sidestep I've ever seen in my life. And then slaps the dog shit out of Triple H, man. Holy shit, that was awesome. Dude, the biggest backhand of all time. He ducks it. Triple H threw a pretty sweet punch, too. It wasn't yeah. like a worked one. He threw, like, I I'm sure they were like, hey, you got to send it. Otherwise, he's going to look like a bitch. So he sent it, and then Arnold moved That was backhand. Triple H talking to himself. I got to send it, or I'm going to look like a bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And Arnold sucks. <laughs> he said, Who'd you ever beat, motherfucker? <laughs> Threw that punch. <laughs> it was all a shoot, actually. That's the most fun. Dude, I can't get over that line. He tried to fucking bury Arnold, man. <laughs> Who the hell is Schwarzenegger ever beat? Now, why do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 are you, why are you bald? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. He moves out of the way, backhands the shit out of him. Then Arnold. Full mouths Triple H and starts punching this shit out of him. Dude, Steve fuck yeah. Austin. Then he comes over and starts fucking beating his ass too. Oh my God. And then Steve Austin grabs a beer, raises Arnold's hand. The crowd is going nuts. The place could not. This was pro fucking wrestling as pro wrestling. Dude, Arnold, this was... Arnold and Austin drink beers as the show fades to black. What else oh. can you fucking ask for With when you title? pay for a ticket, man? You got fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger and Stone Cold Steve Austin drinking beers with their fucking titles and shit. Gold chains, jeans out, fucking natty Dude. lights. Like, what the fuck else do you want? This is I, the shit, man. I could imagine them doing some sweet, like, after SmackDown's over to the live crowd with, like, Arnold and Austin just drinking beers, ribbing each other and shit. It would be fucking sweet I, to yo, see, I too. I bet it was awesome. Yeah. This had to be one of the best SmackDowns ever. Like, no joke. Like, uh... Top to bottom? It was just, like, a solid show, man. It is. Is I mean, like this was the best and the worst of WWF all at once. Holy shit! But, vagina. <laughs> <laughs> vagina. Or vagina. No, vagina. Oh, oh. My bad. 